I hereby declare that we should start making Jonathan Seller Stan Twitter accounts. I refuse to give any other context. Let's do this. TXM style. Well, look what bastard finally decided to show up now. Bloody Omaton. Stupid little man. Ugh. Um, anyway, welcome back everyone to today's episode of the Inazuma 11 to Crossfire Let's Play. This is an Inazuma 11 ROM hack. I don't know why I went, this, this is an Inazuma 11 ROM hack created by, um, the one and only famous YouTuber, HMAZ. And today's episode, we are going to be heading into, oh, we got to grab a two goal lead? Oh, bloody hell, lads. Um, today's episode, we are heading... Oh, he's like a goalkeeper. Okay, never mind. He's not a very good goalkeeper, is he? But we have got him on the team now. But today's episode, we are heading to, to Cloister Divinity. Um, and I'm assuming we'll be doing that match in today's episode. Okay, he's actually a good goalkeeper, like. And then we're going to add him properly to the team. Who are we currently rocking on bench? I guess one of these. I can't see us really using Jack again. Let's... Take Jack off. I want I want Omaton because I just like the idea of having another, like having a backup goalkeeper to be used. Also, I'm gonna be completely front with you all. I found a cheat that let me um lets me like not encounter wild encounters. And um, because quite frankly, I think that's boring for content. Um having constant wild encounter wild encounters every five seconds. I just straight up think that's really boring to watch. And so um I have I've got this this cheat now that lets lets me, you know, actually make progress in the game. <laughs> Like, just, just straight up. So, hopefully, um, you guys don't mind me using that to kind of speed things along ever so slightly. Um, and also save you guys having to watch me click run away every five seconds. Um, also, it, what it does mean is we might be slightly more underleveled. Which I always think adds makes for a more interesting content experience. And I'm not losing a bajillion friendship points every five seconds. And so, I can actually start recruiting new characters more often, which again is more interesting. So overall, I just think it makes for a more interesting let's play um, than just watching me click run away every five seconds. But what we are going to get access to this episode is possible alias characters. I'm not sure whether or not I'll use any of them. I'm not too sure. We obviously get access to Gemini Storm either this episode or next episode or like some episode in the near future. I'm not certain whether or not I want to use any of them. Obviously, like Galileo would be a good goalkeeper. Janus would obviously be a good player. I'm not sure is my is my answer um, to the to the question nobody's asking. I I don't well we'll see we'll see basically I guess is is my main um, idea with that. There's a possibility where I use them, but at the same time there's possibility where it's like who uh, 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 they're just a bit boring and basic. Like, I'd rather use someone like Toad for instance. You know what I mean? Like Toad is a player I never in a million years expected to be any good. Um, especially in a mod like this that makes him so much better than he has any right to because he's warp drive um, And like that is just cool Like Jonathan Seller is in Zuma 1. That's cool. The alias characters. They're still just kind of the alias characters uh, There's not really a whole lot that I you know, obviously HMAS hasn't done a whole lot with them, which is fine I just it just didn't give me real any any added incentive to, to want to be using them and on my team So maybe we'll see uh, I'm not sure they're not jumping out to me at the very least as good as they are Looking at these moves, though, there are a lot of them. There are a lot of them. We have a lot of TP. So let's take, not TP, prestige points. So let's take a look and see what our team is currently missing. Um, I guess I would quite like for maybe a better dribble on you. On potentially, I mean, Eric's going to get flamed down soon, so I'm not too worried about that. Don't know what Kevin's doing in defensive midfield. I guess I'd have to put him. My guess is I had to put him there. Um, Willie's so <laughs> Willie. I really want to use Willie properly. I just can't figure out how. Obviously, Sean is good. We obviously know Sean is good. Jude is the main thing, so I'm assuming he won't get a block. So maybe if we get Jude like blade attack. Let's 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 buy. Let's buy, buy some Bly. Okay, let's buy Blade Attack, Blade Attack. And then let's buy Blade Attack one more time. Because I want a bunch of Blade Attacks. And then I'd quite like... 
Have you ever seen anyone actually use run ball run properly? I'm going to be the first person to do that. Okay. Um, okay, we'll go to special moves. Let's... Do we take Mark out of goal already? Is this potentially the path we go down? And we already start with um, Aut Armaton as our goalie. And then do we start kind of building Mark? Yeah. Let's do that. Because we're about to get Megaton Head. So, let's start building Mark into our defender. Do I want Cyborg? I do quite like Cyborg, but I don't know whether or not... I think I'd rather have Infantile. So let's put Mark there. Let's put Infantile here. Let's put all Armaton in goal. And I guess for my last play, maybe, I guess what I'd want is like Wild Claw. So we'll try and sell something to get Wild Claw real quick. Um, I don't really care about the kids. Like straight up. Okay, right, and now let's quickly go and adjust. So, you, we want to give... The thing is, we're going to have Megaton Head on top of... So, we obviously want to give you Blade Attack. Obviously. I guess we'll wait to give you Megaton Head, because I guess that would probably be... Would that even be... Good. Like, obviously, it'd be cool if he had it, but is it really going to be helpful on him? Like, what's Blade... Like, what's Megaton Head? I guess it gives him... Uh... No, I don't want to give you Megaton Head. I've decided. I want to give you Zig, Zag, Spark instead. I would rather you have a dribble than you have a, a shoot that you're not going to use. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Um, And I want to give Jude Blade Attack... I think I want to give you a slightly cheaper move. So I want to give you Run Ball Run. I want to give you... Wild Claw. I also think I want to give you Defense Plus. Never mind, you can't learn that move. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll give Nathan Defense Plus. What even is Defense Plus? How do I even use this move? Does it have to be on a Defender? In that case... I'm going to give it to the one defender I know is permanent on this team. Toad. Okay. Um, You want blade attack? Cool. And does anyone else want... Because I got a last blade attack. I just can't remember who I got it for. Well, have I already given out all the blade attacks? If I haven't, then I meant... Then... Actually, I think I want it on you. So let's give you the last blade attack. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, right, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Let's head for closer divinity, y'all. Let's do it. Oh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't holding down the button. You know what? That's fine, because I want to showcase something. First of all, Phoenix is cool as hell. And I kind of want to recruit Phoenix. But I think Phoenix is goalkeeper, in which case we've already kind of got Omaton filling that void. But I do quite like the idea that Phoenix is there. Maybe I'll look into Phoenix as a potential option. Maybe we take Phoenix as a goalkeeper and turn them into something else. I don't know. Something, something, there's, there's things we can do. Okay, we're going to head to the bus first. Do we have friendship points? We have 114. Let's just see, potentially, like, if we look up the name Phoenix. Phoenix. No? What do you mean, you bastard? What do you mean you can't find anyone called that? N what? Fine. Cloister. Kyoto. Yeah. Mento. Spike Needle. Sa what? What do you mean? Mate. Mate. Fine. Okay. You know, I raise you something else. Just, just... I guess if you can't find any name, I guess you can't find... Sure. Okay, you know what? Dumb. I'll figure you out. I'll figure out your tactic. I guess they're on the connection map. That's so bollocks. Right, I'm getting Phoenix and I'm turning them into a striker. I don't care. 
They're gonna be my fire tornadoing striker. I am done. I'm so I'm I'm mad now. I'm angry. I've hit hit passion levels I never thought I could hit. You know what? I want to use it again. Hit him with the run ball run. Hit him with the run ball run. Jonathan Seller. Bloody hell, this man is literally Mbappe. Okay, he's the Mbappe of an Azuma 11. Would Mbappe have run ball run? Yeah, I could see that, to be honest. What? I, I, I'm I so desperately going to make these videos where, I'm, um, where I go like through actual like footballers and say what Azuma 11 moves I think they'd have. Like, that, I think that's just a sick... I think that's just sick ideas for content. That's definitely something I do. But anyway, we are definitely working towards this episode. I guess that will be the, the main thing we do this episode, then, is take on Close to Divinity, which I am quite excited for. I reckon that Close to Divinity are a cool team. Um, I, I love them. I think they're great. I just love the idea of this team that is, lit, like, just meant to be, like, fantastic, but they just didn't compete at Full Frontier just for, like, their morals or something, but they're, like, actually just really, really cool. I just like it. I think it's a really cool idea. I think they're pretty awesome. Oh, and they're like, oh, we do not intend to play Epsilon, where we use our mind and bodies. But I love that. Like, they they use their mind and bodies to be really cool. But okay, they are going to play us, though, at football, which I guess cause I guess they don't, they're don't. they not too bothered on only using football to meditate, you know what I mean? They kind of also want to use it to actually play football, which, you know, fair enough, lads. Okay, we have a team. Um, this is the team formation. I'm happy with that. We're going to give it a go. Um, let's do it. I am prepared my mind and soul. Hell yeah. My mind and soul is always ready. I'm a, I'm a stallion. I'm a bloody stallion, lads. Alright, greatest team never to have competed in the football frontier. Bloody hell. Okay. Rymon versus Cloyster. So we have Ian Fantile. Um, and what? Why did I just say we have <laughs> Ian Fantile? Hell yeah, lads. Bring one out for Ian Fantile. Okay. I want you in here, by the way. Okay, anyway, we have... Hell yeah, lads. Ian Fantile. Okay, that's actually what I want. Okay, in goal, we have, <laughs> we have Ort Omaton. In defense, we have Ian Fantile. Um, Nathan, Mark, and Toad. In our defensive midfielder is Willie. Um, <laughs> Eric and Jude make up our other two midfielders. And then up front, we have Blood, Frost, and Jonathan Seller. Okay. And Cloyster have Cranker, Kick, in goal. Maxi, Wax, and Sparky in water and defense. Far Dream in midfield. The defensive midfielder, I think. Um, Intellectual, Wando, and Dingleet in um, their midfielders. And Marshall and Dirk up front. Clone block on Crane Kick makes sense, obviously. And um, never, never give up. I like that. Dark Whirlwind goes. Okay, okay. Whirlwind Twist to Shadow Stitch. Sumo Stomp. Double Touch Dark Whirlwind. Study. I like it because he has glasses. And um, Megaton Head on Taekwondo. That's cool as hell. First, keep an eye on their stats, by the way, and see if anyone's like stats are jumping out to me. He's obviously pretty good. Um, you've won Force and Roll and Twister. Nice. I guess you already have that from the bat. I guess. Okay, that's cool. Um, Kung Fu Header, Kung Fu Fighting. You have big moves. Consider me. You seem really good. Thing is, surely Kale Dash destroys your TB though. Like, surely, what what are you meant to do after you use Gale Dash? Meanwhile, Whirlwind Twister Economy. My mind's saying that Martial Arts is better. My mind's saying I'd rather use Martial Arts. I do kind of want to use one of these guys. I think I quite like the look of Martial Arts, to be honest. Maybe him instead of Blood. Or maybe him is... I quite like... Yeah, I quite like the idea of using martial arts. Let's do it. Fair, I feel like we need more midfielders. Just generally, instead of always like seeing cool strikers and being like, yo, it's a striker. Maybe we turn one of our strikers into a midfielder. Dunno. Um Okay. There is there is potential. There is potential. I think his double touch just isn't a very good midfielding move. Roman Candle? With Heat Tackle and Flame Dance? Maybe this is our midfielder. Double Dog. <laughs> Don't know why that makes me laugh. Um, maybe Roman Candle and Martial Arts are our two players we get from Co um, Cloyster. 
Maybe. I quite like the idea of that. Okay, anyway, let's play some football. Let's play some bloody football, lads. Okay. Um, over to you. Over to John. Never mind. Okay. Um, we were so close yet so far. I think permanently Jude might be moving into a defensive midfielder role. I think. Okay. Um, we're going to go for an Inzuma 1. Just straight off the bat. I think he'll stop this because he is a really good goalkeeper. Never mind. He sucks ass. Um, okay, never mind. We're, we're too good for him. Jonathan, I, I forgot. I forgot we were using Jonathan Seller, and that's like an ultimate cheat code. Um, I'm not very committed to the idea of using blood. Like, I'm not really committed at all, actually. Um, do we get around this guy? I don't think so. I think we, yeah. Cyclone is is pretty pretty strong. I like the idea of Waxen, to be honest. Cyclone is a really cool move. There are a lot of players on on Cloister that I'm. I, I think I'm pretty... I might scout a f um, quite a few off-screen, to be honest. I'm at the nearest possible convenience. Okay, we're going to go for an Eternal Blizzard. Come on, lad. Okay, Clone Box definitely stopping this. Never mind, he sucks ass. Um, we're definitely not getting Crane Kick on the team, I can tell you that much. Because I did a survey, and it turns out he sucks balls. So... Um, he's, he's very bad. Okay. Right. Um, let's bring Sean up. Never mind. Crane kick got the ball. Take everything back. He's an incredible goalkeeper. Okay, that fired up. We're going to go for a flurry dash. Oh, wow. Bloody hell. Far dream. Okay. You're far from my dream right now. Um, clone defense, which is just a really cool move to have on Nathan. And turns Nathan into a... Was giving you lots of praise there, mate. You just had to go and spoil it all, didn't you? Okay, I don't know why I went for Ghost Pull there on the Infantile. When I'm obviously meant to go for Fake Ball. Okay. Um, to be fair, Toad... The thing is, is, I'm kind of torn between using Toad. I'm, I'm really torn on where to use Toad in the grand scheme of things. Do I use Toad as a defender or do I use Toad as a midfielder? Or do I use Toad as a defensive midfielder? I have no idea where I want anyone on my team to be in the grand scheme of things. The only thing I know is I need Jonathan Seller up front. That is the only long-term idea I have for this team. Um, is I, The two players I know for sure I want to be using at the end of the save are Jonathan Seller and Toad. Oh, how does Flame Breath stop it yet Clone Block doesn't? What? Um, go on, Toad, mate. Okay, never mind. And I guess, obviously, I guess Marcus Defend is a pretty cool idea, too. I also do quite like the idea... I don't know why I use fucking full power shield there. I also do quite like the idea of um, using Automaton for as long as humanly possible. Though maybe there'll be another goalkeeper I get more attached to. Also the idea of using Phoenix I quite like. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's, there's stuff here that I'm a fan of is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm quite scared. Here we're going to fire up. Sounds like this where I'm not entirely shout. We'll, we'll see how Automaton compares. Okay, never mind. They didn't use a move. I don't actually know in the grand scheme of things how good full power shield is. I guess that... I'm, I'm kind of lacking the game knowledge there. Okay, over to Willy. Come on, mate. Over to Blood. Okay, we're going to go for a volley with Sean Frost. See, Sean Frost is just so boring. Like, obviously, Sean Frost scores. You know what I mean? He's just such a boring player. I want him off the team ASAP. I want him replaced with martial arts. That's that's my team. Um, or replaced with like Phoenix, who I think is just even a goalkeeper. And just just have just have her on. Let's do it. Okay, Toad, you're meant to be really good. Remember that, please. Please please remember, Toad, that you're meant to be good. Okay, but we did beat Cloister um, 3 0 pretty easily. So I'm proud of us. I'm very, very, very proud of us. Well done, lads. Well done. Um, martial. Okay, I definitely think from them, martial arts and Roman candle are the two I want to use. Maybe waxen. Though I think I won't use both of them on the team long term. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I just want to scout a couple. I just want to. I just want to recruit a couple. We'll. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I reckon like we'll be. The thing is, I'm gonna do so much like extra stuff in this game that I'm probably gonna be really over leveled by the end, which is quite irritating. 
But I mean, that's not how the cookie crumbles. It sounds that cookie does indeed crumble, and that's quite, you know, depressing to see. Look at this old man. Look at this bloody old man. He is about to give us Megathon Head, isn't he? I'm pretty sure he's about to give us Megathon Head. Yeah, he is. Okay, I'm, I, again, like I said, don't want Mark to have this. I want someone else to have it, but I'm not sure who. I'm not sure who I want to have this. Let's think about that. It'll call to me at some point. It'll call to me. Who, who I want to have. Like, if I'm just taking a general look at the team. Maybe. But I can't imagine myself using blood long term is the only problem. Charm up and defense force. Why well, do I feel like I really is going to be really good really quickly? I should also make sure I'm keeping an eye on, like, Akido is good. Like, Tori looks like she's really good. Bloody hell, this is going to blow my mind with the amount of players I can use. Okay. Um. Right. Bloody hell. I'm assuming we can't be scouting players right now, I'm assuming. Um. Let me, let me, let's go, let's go take a quick look. Just make sure we can't be, like, scouting cloister players right at the second. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way we, we can. Okay. Um, in that case, then, I guess, oh, can I scout Phoenix yet? Can I, can I please get Phoenix? I'm just going to go for confirm, and I'm just going to kind of take a look around. Okay. Same search. Give me Phoenix. Give me Phoenix. It's Spua. I'm so, in, like, so tempted to get Spua. Because his name is Spua. And that's very close to my last name. That's so, so close. Okay, I'm going to do more research into this stuff. But anyway, I'll see you guys next episode. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, we will do, I guess, the Epsilon match. I'll see you guys then. But for now, goodbye. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that juicy stuff. And see ya. Thank you.